Look at all the trash. Look at all those There seats, it is, dude. bro. There's like a bowl right there. Yeah. It's looking good down in there. Look at all Look those. at, this is the most seeds I've ever seen. Yeah, this is the seediest pit we've dug. This out might never have been Maybe like, they cleaned were vegetarians, out. dude. <laughs> I, it might not have ever been like dipped. Might have not been dipped, yeah. What's up guys? Ryan and I out here today uh, behind an 1830s house trying to do some probing. This is an addition but it is at least on the uh, 1900 map so we're doing some probing. We found a possible pit out in the corner where Ryan's uh, uncovering those leaves. Not 100% sure but today may be the only day we can dig because it's in between uh, owners right now uh they may be selling the home literally tomorrow so <laughs> it's kind of today or not at all depending on what the new owner thinks looking good guys we're not even a foot in the ground yet got plenty of ash popping out just pop this thing out nice early ground lip shaker probably 1890s almost like jadeite it's kind of like a weird color I guess it's blue milk glass. Guys, as soon as I put the phone down, Ryan's like, I got a bottle. He says, pharmacy. What is it? Ooh. Iron Boss. Iron Boss. Dude, what? It's blown though, right? Yeah, it's blown. Cool. Sweet. Well, we dug down a little bit deeper, guys. I got a bottle showing that Ryan just covered. <laughs> I'm going to try to get it out. We still don't know if this is a pit. If it feels like it might be a really small pit, if anything. But we'll try to get this thing out. It's really not even that close to coming out, but if I get around it. Looks like a soda. It's either clear or aqua. It's got some embossing to be or Yeah, so it's at least a crown. It's, it's like it, a loads or something. It's maybe. at least like a blown crown top, if anything. It's sort of loose. I should be able to get it. I just keep going around it. Oh, it's got oh, it's in Boston. Yeah, it's in Boston. Yeah, Binghamton. Binghamton, yeah. It's like a Joseph Lauer. Might be. It is. Yep. With the watermelon slug. Yep. Joseph Lauer. Not bad. You're on the board. <laughs> yeah. It's like a really early, I guess it's not, yeah, it is machine made, but like the first machine made one ever, pretty much. Like they're, it's where the seams don't even line up. Yeah. It looks mint, dude. Yeah. Cool. All right, good news. We are pretty sure it's a pit. We found some seeds. We're getting deeper, finding some more stuff. We got Ken out here to join us. Hi. from uh, Digging Disorder. Go check out his channel on YouTube. He's actually the one that got his permission on this property, so glad he could come and join us. Hopefully it pans out. This is his first privy. And, um, you know, just some pieces of stuff here, some dishes, iron stone. Ryan just popped out uh, something pretty cool. It's broken, unfortunately, but... Right in the shovel. Check you can that out. Seeds. Look at all the seeds. That is a wax sealer, early one. Looks like a Millville, maybe. I don't know. Could be a Millville. Awesome. Great sign right there. We're in an early pit. That's a great sign. Maybe we'll get some intact. We've never dug an intact wax sealer yet. Nope. We've gotten on some nice fruit jars though. That seemed to be like our thing when we first started digging privies. We were just getting like some really nice fruit jars. It's hard to say. We're still kind of still kind of early on. I mean, who knows? And honestly, there could be another pit here too. This might not be the only one. We didn't probe very long before we found this one. Um, we found this one, what, right? In like probably three minutes, four minutes? Yeah. Since we pulled up. And... Get the stuff along the wall there. Yep. Yeah, I see all that. Look at all that color. All the seeds, the pieces of stuff. He's popping out tons of glass. It is just loaded with, that's the jar. Ooh. 
Yeah, is that? That was a like big one, dude. Somewhere. That was a big one. Atmospheric? I don't know. You I kind of don't think it is. You got a bot in the wall? I think it's a bot. Oh, yeah, I see it. Right there. It's like a farm. Two of them. There's two bots. Oh! It's Ooh, a boss. Dude! It's busted. That's early. Dr. James. It's a Dr. James, but an older one. The top is busted. I guess it's not super. I guess it's not super early, but it is an earlier like one. Like an 80s. Though. Pretty aqua. <sighs> Top's busted off, off, but. Look at all the trash. Look at all those. There seats, it is, dude. bro. There's like a bull right there. Yeah, it's looking good down in there. Look at all. Look those. at this is the most seeds I've ever seen. Yeah, this is the seediest pit we've dug. This out might never have been Maybe like, they cleaned were vegetarians, out. Vegetarians, dude. <laughs> I, it might not have ever been like dipped. Might have not been dipped, yeah. Oh, this is this is really good. Heck yeah, dude. We're gonna order a pizza. <laughs> we should. Yeah. I'm starving. I'm down. It's starting to look like we must be <laughs> going down. down that road. Is that, dude, look is that, that. what can right? Is that what can tack? What? That chamber pot thing. Uh, thing it's in the wall. Definitely that sturdy. Chamber pot below that. You wanna take the camera with one hand? That's yeah, moving. That. I need to come down. Broke. Like <laughs> no, you don't. <laughs> it's exciting. I felt something big move. We're going to get Kent on his first pit, and we're going to get him into the earliest bottles he, he's ever found, too. We're already there. Yeah, we're already there. Dude, that look at that. Awesome. What in the world? Dude, that's I like a... I thought that was another lamp. That's, that's like a... a let me see that, Ryan. Top. Holy crap. Yeah, I thought so, too. That's a rolled lid. That would have wax seal in it, too, probably, right? Dude. What kind yeah, of lid would that have? That's like, and that's Sorry. paper thin. That's like a pond. That's Ponel, dude. That's got to be like Ponel era. Obviously, you're better with the light than without, right? That's got like a wicked. I didn't know if it was like blinding you down there or anything. <sighs> that's like a wicked rolled lip on that, guys. Uh, give me a box. Crude There's as so hell. Many seeds in there. I know. <laughs> it's like a bag of seeds. Oh, dude! I told you it's a Ponel. <laughs> yeah, Ponel, dude. Oh, I told yeah, you. That's a nice base right there. Damn, that's the pot. Yeah, that's the rolled lip jar right there, guys. Open panel. Give me a bot, please. <sighs> Sick. What was that? I mean, it was slick, probably. But yeah, I'm missing a big, missing a big portion of it. But. Or something. It's ben uh, Bennington. Is that what that is? Is it more piece of that? Here, you want that? Awesome. Bigger piece. Yeah, I'll show these guys. This is the D James. Seeds for you. Yes, sir. Tonic Vermifuge. White. All right, Ryan's got a bottle down in there. See if I could zoom and show you guys. See it? Flask. Oh, she's in there good. Is it? Yeah. Maybe dig around it with a stick. Oh, I got it. Let's go. Nice Warranted? Yep. Cool. Does it it have feels a... good down there. It feels trashy. Cutie. So. Cool. Does it have a bee on the bottom? <clears throat> yeah, it does. It's Binghamton Glassworks. That is a Binghamton Glassworks flask right there with the B on the bottom. Usually it would have a B and a diamond, but um, on the flasks, it's just a B. Cool. We're on them. Real good sign. Oh. Top of an oil lamp. Oil That's lamp. what it is. Yeah. Guys, we're chugging right along here, and uh, Ryan just popped out something kind of deep there. Just flipped right out. It's, uh... Burkhalter, Mastin and Co, New York. What? I've never seen that. Burkhalter, Mastin and Co, New York. The New York is like wicked off center too. Look at all the seeds there. Tons of seeds. We might be close to bottom, so could be just could a be a small one. pit or something, but it's an outhouse, no doubt. That's cool, Ryan. That's I've never seen that one. Nobody's ever heard of it. That's a good. It's time. an older one, yeah. Cool. I hear more glass down in there. You got like a top of an oil lamp chimney there. Yeah. We're trying to widen it up. I believe those are the older style. It the, is. The, the bigger yep. uh, loops. Show that. Yeah, that's like an ovoid. Yeah, it was almost. like an ovoid salt glazed stoneware crop there. We found a couple pieces off camera to some of the stuff that you guys saw. Yeah, it's stamped. Oh, wow. like literally stamped, oh, yes. Yeah. I think the flashlight is unfortunately. Like, I was putting it sideways like to see if it out. Would, yeah, yeah, it's too bright. Yeah, it's it? almost like too much right now. Down in the hole, it doesn't look bad. We got a couple pieces that popped out off camera when we were cleaning it out. Like we found the that wax sealer 
was a really large eagle uh half gallon probably maybe maybe even a full gallon this thing was pretty big and that was that wax sealer there uh we found what else did we find oh kent found an interesting piece here in the tail pile with a shield and some stars that's sick that yeah screams american yeah it's american as it gets right there that whole thing was down there it's definitely i got whole like things in the pile pieces. yeah probably a spittoon maybe chamber pot i brought my beginner's luck i mean that's all <laughs> i can really bring to the table oh cup is it yeah it's Watch a design on there. No handle missing. It's not supposed to have. I don't it. even think it's it had it. One, it's got one chip there. It probably had. It's got some chips on the rim, but still, really, still it's wicked. It's cool. marked on the bottom. Super it's, old. Sorry. Looks really old. Here. Davenport. Like a full shoe. Davenport. Look at those. Those are early shoes. Yeah. yeah. I'll say they probably predate Endicott Johnson's. Shoes. Oh yeah, they definitely do. That's definitely predating Endicott Johnson. Yeah, it's cool little transfer wear. It wouldn't have had a handle, so it's pretty pretty well intact. You might have a full piece of that transfer wire. Man, they pitched the whole kitchen in here. <laughs> a piece of that old board jug. Everything but the kitchen sink. That could be in here. <laughs> Damn, oh, big man, piece. That would have been super Does it say nice. Davenport on the bottom? No. It's, a different it's upside down, I think. No, it is Davenport. Freiburg. Something Davenport underneath yeah. it. Yeah, so it's like the same... Part of the same set there. Really pretty looking scene on there with the buildings. It's cool. Freiburg, Ironstone. Maybe John Lord will give us a little info on that. Does your buddy, um, does he live close by? Oh, dude. Mm. That's sick. Whoa. That's sick. That's a, um, oh, what are those? I forget what they are. Can I take the light off just for a second? Oh, it like it kind of bleeds it out. I don't. It's yeah. I forgot. I was no. You're fine. It like I think it just kind of makes it like too much. Like because it's kind of reflective. It. Bottom's crazy. blown out, but that would have been really cool, guys. This these handles are not broken. That's how they're supposed. I mean that one's got a little chip, but that's how they're supposed to be. Cool little little dish. Maybe like a sugar. Plate or like a, it's too small to be like a biscuit <laughs> jar. I don't, I don't really know what these were. Really cool though. We're on to like the sixth piece of the service so far. Let's come out for some of these plates. Yeah, dude, look at over here. I got a cup. I got a bowl. I got that thing that just, like the whole set was thrown out. Yeah. Waiting for a bottle. Ooh, that was another a, one of those that's jars. A, that's a really jar. Look at the notch. No embossing on that. It's got like one of those knobs in the. I can't tell if that's intentional or a yeah, pot stone. Yeah, Another wax sealer. Ugh. That's the same. Dude. <laughs> yeah. Okay. It is intentional. Then, you guys, you jar guys, will know what this is. I'm sure. Hopefully, it's got the not. It's got that notch on both sides. These it's pieces. Like they something up these, pieces the these pieces match up. These pieces match up. Empire. Oh. That's another good one. Empire fruit jar. Early fruit jars, dude. Man. Early jars. Empire State. Ooh, Ooh what's that? It's just a piece. Rock. No, it's a it's a bottle, but Oh, it's no, like it's a big, big old big old pitcher. That's probably time look at too. The, yeah, look at the applied handle. That's definitely wow. that is wicked cruelly handmade yeah, right like there. Pinched on. Yeah. That's old. You gotta. Yeah, I'll take a picture of that. Hand. That's not Ponel, whatever this was. Like a food. Close. Though. Food, yeah. It's got that early flat base on it. Pottery stuff. Ooh, ooh. Dude, there might be an intact Ponel bottle. Come on. That's what we want to hear. Or it could be a jar. It's got a recessed bottom. I could. It feels like a Ponel. It's coming out, right? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> damn it. It is it Ponel. Is Ponel. Oh, damn no. it. It felt good. It was a slick one anyways. Damn, dude. Broken OP. Bomber. It was, well, no, that's a different wax seal. I don't seal. know what those are. Ugh. Ooh, what was that? 
that's close to Pono, but it's not. Ooh, dude, what is that? Something NY. B O something 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 NY. I can't quite make it out. Let me see it. That was the top. Had an earlier top on it. Here's what we're dealing with. Got all kinds of stuff. Very seedy. I know. <laughs> Yo, those jars are hard. Right? Could be a bottle there. It looks like a hutch, maybe. It looks like a mug base hutch. Really? Could be. Sweet. Or even I don't think it's a cup. It could even be a squat soda. I think we're predating hutches. Oh, maybe. Could be a mug base soda. It feels good, so. I like that. Is that one right in front of you? Right there, yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, that's a cup or something. It's moved. Yeah. There's less products in there houseware, unfortunately, so far. I had a stick up there, right next to the. Like an actual. Stick. Yeah, like an actual stick. I found the bone. <laughs> I don't know what happens. I don't know where you are. Hey, do you want another stick? Yeah, just something. Long. Man, the light keeps falling. Yeah, you can close them. I don't know if that'll help you. Tight quarters. There's a panel base. All the panel stuff has been slit. Oh man, that looks cool. Cool color or something there. I see some blue and white. I see like brown and white. There's an earlier top. Have to have somebody get down there with what the camera, dude. guys ryan was kind of clearing this out and he just said he thinks he's got a full stoneware jug oh my god it's not broke it. is it broken yeah how broken i can see it show it to show it to these guys it still looks cool in there how broke <laughs> i was thinking maybe like the handle was broken or something Damn. up here it looks good Ugh. big piece Definitely loaded down here, but everything's just kind of smashed up. It's a nice early pit, dude. I want to get into some intact stuff. It's like they threw their shit down the hole. And it's like it didn't have a, sh a long fall. It's a, sh you know, it's a shallow pit. It's not like it fell 14 feet down to right, that's smash. What I mean. it's, it's almost like they threw it in the... Some of this stuff could have already very well been broken before they threw it in the pit. There's the, I don't really know. The bottom. Yep, more of that Davenport stuff. We have that service right there. Another globe, globe for a lamp. That one. Was that the one? That was, one, yeah, was almost intact. Yeah. These are nice. Was that the one that was in the wall, Ryan? Yeah. yeah. This is. It's almost intact. Yeah, that's the. I think that's what was sticking out, right? Uh, one, uh, one yeah. Yeah. One of them, yeah. Oh, good. The glass is still coming out, though. Still going. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's still going. We're going to find whole ones. There's no question. Oh, that, that shield what? again, dude. Dude, yeah, it was an oil oh, lamp. Oh, it's a lamp. Dude, I was right. So nice. I called it. Oh, I that was, yeah, that was just a little fragment of totally it. Totally thought that was an oil lamp. Dude. Sick, that yeah. That would have been so awesome in town. It would. That piece I showed you earlier, guys, that Kent found with the shield and stars, yeah, it was a finger That's oil lamp. Way. Dude. That's a weird pattern. Look dude. at the handle on that oil lamp. It's got like an early handle, like. Oh, that's pinched that's, on too. That's early Look at stuff that too. Oh man, that's old. Yeah, they. they that's that wicked glass nice. On the handle and just squished it onto the. Yeah, pinched it. 
Dude, this is nice. We're in some good age. Still got Ryan down in the pit. Um, he said he might have like an intact bowl. And, I'm not going to be able to get it out when he's... Uh, okay, the bowl's going to have to wait. But he said he's got what looks to be a flask. It's kind of higher up though, so it's probably oh, yeah. not going to be as old as some of this stuff. In the upper layers, we were finding more like 1890s, 1900s stuff. Is that too much? No, it should be. Yeah, unembossed, uh, just warranted flask. But that's up higher. It doesn't say Windsor, New York on it? No. <laughs> Damn. I like these things. Yeah, no, they're cool. Have you ever dug any flasks like that, Kent? I got one of these off that bank recently. Did you? Yeah. Oh, actually, I've dug an amber scrap sided before, too. The ambers are better. The ambers are better. At a, it's a bigger size. And it's at a dump that I want to take you guys to, too. Cool. Check it out. I got a new bucket. We're going to do the bucket thing. Oh, wow. Yeah. Early syringe there. The plunger uh, still has part of the rubber intact on the inside. That's cool. That is cool. We found... Probably broken then. Oh, okay. Damn it. Uh, that's what the bowl was? Yeah. The same pattern? I think so. Damn it. I'll have to see if I can get down to it again. All right. We're going to do the bucket thing and... Back with you guys. All right, Ryan's about to pull a bowl. Can you see it? It's got a kind of, you might want to film it if you can. It's got a chunk out of it. It's all broken, but it's early. Damn. Oh, oh wow, it's a pitcher. Oh, man. <laughs> that design is sweet. Damn. Dude, we might be able to piece it together if we could find more of the pieces. Yeah, well, I, I painted you up a big piece of it. I kept it. That's a gluer right there. Yeah, that is. Even if you could just get one side to display nicely, that would look sweet on the shelf. That is a beauty. The color just popped when you flipped it. Yeah, damn. Bam! Look at that, guys. Beautiful. And the piece... Be cool if the piece went to that side, but I don't think it does. No. I don't see any more in the shark pile over here. It probably goes to the other side. Damn. Tons of seeds in there. Oh, there. Oh, nice, dude. That's a big piece. Big piece of it. Yeah, we should piece that together. That's Definitely, a, dude. That's a cool that. piece. That, thing is nice. that might be the piece we need to make it look displayable. It is. Sorry, guys. Bad filming, but. That's an important piece right there that's gonna make it look more displayable. Shane, check this out. What? I don't know what it is. What is that? Yeah. What the heck, dude? What is this, guys? It's got a hole. Like, is this like almost like a little hanging prism for a chandelier or something? Oh, maybe. There's more of it. It's cut glass. Damn. Well, we'll be piecing that together. That's a nice, nice gluer backer together. Er, er. Yeah, I don't know what this is. It almost looks like some sort of prism. With a, it's got a hole there and then a hole in the top, so it would like have a something going through it for it to hang. Here's the the heartbreaker pile, guys. Look at these panels. Look at the panels. Look at them. Look at them. Look at the applied wax sealers. Oh man, Empire, some heartbreakers, well, good. chains that down was, in the hole, gonna go try to get the piece of that stoneware out, I don't know what that is, that's not a coin right, fused to something, it can't it be, looks like a top to a yeah. lantern. Dude, Ooh. What in the early? That's one of those. Good... That's a wicked old jar. What were you gonna say, Aaron? I said I think it's that one with the paneled sides on it. Another one of those. Man, look at that. Yeah, that's a di like a different one. Different piece, but same I that, pattern. That flashlight, yeah. I think, is washing it out. Same pattern, yeah. Yeah, yeah just leave that. Flash is it out. washing it out? Yeah. yeah. Sometimes it does that. All good. Dude, what we got? Stoneware. 
please be intact. It's a different piece. Yeah. Please Dude. be salt glazed stoneware. Please be stenciled. It's got cobalt on it, dude. It does. That's it's like very faint, but dude, if that's, it's gotta be broken. I don't know. That's it's ovoid too. It doesn't have to be broken. Yeah, don't say that. Don't say that, <laughs> dude. It's an ovoid. Oh, oh boy. Oh boy is right. Oh boy, There's a oh piece boy. of that thing next to it, dude. I, it looks good so far. Look at these pieces. I know. Look at this. This be is like gorgeous that, stuff, <laughs> dude. Let's go, guys. I hope I'm. I hope I'm getting a good shot for you guys of this, dude. Really old things come out of this. Oh, please. This is like all tight up here. There's broken pieces of stuff here. Oh, it's broken, but it's still like very close to being intact. If it's broken, then go for it. It's still close though. It does look pretty down there. I don't even want to pull it because it could be surrounded by other stuff. We could piece that together. Dude, that's an early crack. Early ovoid. We're in such an old pit. Wish more of it was coming out intact for us, but we still got quite a bit to dig. Darn. It's coming, guys. Look at that. Oh, it's actually more broken than I thought. The cobalt's like really faint on it but that's that's early stoneware like 30s probably hold it up right behind it damn yes sir damn oh, i got you sweet would have had a incised uh line right there yeah cool loaded in here though guys like absolutely loaded in here look at this any pieces of that. Yeah. Super fancy. We keep these plate pieces. Dude. Yeah, we'll keep we'll clean them up and, and show them. The There's a piece of the jug. Um, this is also a piece of it. I'll keep it off to the side. There. There's another piece there. There's a huge chunk of it here. Oh my goodness. Yeah, definitely save that. Look at that handle. Damn, dude. Oh, oh it is inside, dude. It's stamped. What does it say? Thomas something. Comp Thomas Co. or something. I don't know. We'll have to find more of it. Yeah, I'll snap a, fill, a still of it. We'll have to find more. Damn, dude. Jeez. I wish it was like more intact at least. That's a for real cry. That is a crier. A lot of this stuff has been crier. I know. It's looking great though. I really thinking we might be able to get into some stuff. Something's got to be intact here. Yeah, we found so many. Yeah, kitchen privy. Kitchen privy. Seriously, too. You're not kidding. All fruit jars and. Plateware and. Well, I can deal with the jars, but the dishes got to go. <laughs> <Nothing, dude. laughs> the wrecking ball, first of all. I know. Ball, they're all them. They themselves are all broke. I know. The third, even if they were intact. Another large piece there. Yeah, that's the other handle, dude. Yep. You got both handles. Yep. That's we're gonna piece it back together. together. Best we can. There's another, oh no, it's a plate. Yeah, some stuff is worth gluing. Oh, that's, pretty, that's, that's in 1861, 66, mason jar. Pat, February 13th, 1866, nice. with a nine on the base. One of you guys will know what fruit jar that is. Could just be an early mason's, I, I don't know. Oh, dude, a pottled ink. Yes! A pottled umbrella ink. Umbrella ink. First Dude, that's my first ever um, pottled ink bottle. Congrats, bro. Sick. Even being slick, I'm still excited. All right, when do you guys hop in here? Right, it's, it's only fair. Awesome. Sweet, dude. I'm just looking at the base. It could be like a big lady's leg or something. I know. I'm just dreaming. Pretty much. It's like, it uh, almost feels intact, but... Mm. Well, because it's like... Could be a squat soda or something. No, I think it's broken. 
Yeah, damn it. And it's just like a champagne. It's older though. Not Pondled, but. It's a whiskey, I think. Got right? a punt on it. Look at the cut. It's oh, like, that's super awesome. It's got a crazy green, color. Yeah. If that's a whiskey, it's that's a nice awesome. one. That's awesome. Yeah, that's got really good color to it. Uh, olive, right? Yeah, there's olive. Damn it. Uh, dude, look at the base wear on that. They yeah. Cut, dude, they used that thing forever. Is there any more in there? Look at that. Could the top be, have any embossing on it? Um, the top wouldn't be That's probably an right? unembossed uh, bottle. I feel it. All right, you got Kent down in the hole. I just got done clearing it out. In the process of clearing it out, I dug this uh, iron panel base, and this thing is like red, like really red. You guys aren't gonna be able to see that, I'm sorry. Maybe there you can see. This thing is like, it's almost like puce, dude. Shade. Oh, <laughs> nice. That looks nice. Nice. Did it have a stamp on the shoulder? Look at that, look how it fades It's there. got, yeah, it's got like a, is that Weird. staining or is no? That no, stain? that's in the glaze. No doubt. That's in the glaze. That's beautiful. No stamp on the shoulder. No. No. Nice jug though. It's a weird Albany, like almost Albany Ooh. slip, but. Oh, look at that base, dude. Oh, it's a pond of medicine. <laughs> look at how crude that is. It's unembossed, but. Is it? I was gonna say that. Look at how crude that <laughs> is. That would have been a killer first pond bottle for you. Glass here. Dude, this There's is the top of that whiskey that Shane dug. That's sticking right out. Pull at that you. thing out. Where is it? It's laying on the floor. Oh, right, right there. there. Yep, yeah. that's the top of the whiskey. Damn, yeah, it totally was a whiskey. Oh, sorry, bad. Oh, that look at that. Damn. Get me. Dude, that's that, red that thing. thing is like seriously puce. Like a true puce. Yes, dude, that's crazy color. <sighs> what? Look at how crude that is. Jeez. Some real criers have been coming out, as you guys have seen. This would have been a super crude open panel medicine bottle that Kent popped out. Insanely crude. It's almost like bulbous on the sides there. Wicked deep or, or, uh, open panel too. And then there's that next to that whiskey again. Also very, very crude. Just nice stuff. The color of that whiskey jug blows Dude, away. It's insane. I've never seen I know. Yeah. It's insane. Would have been absolutely gorgeous. Heck I would have yeah. rather have dug that than the umbrella ink, but I can't complain. Where'd you guys put the ink? Oh, I see it over there. You can hop back in. I just cut it out. Oh, Gonna get back Kent back down in there and Get back on the bottles. What's that? What is uh, that? That's, I don't know if it is. I don't know, dude. It's pink. That's like a. Does it got a pink hue to it or is it me? <sighs> no, it's clear, but. Whiskey jug right there. I think this would have been like, there'd be two of them. They'd fit together. It's got like, they'd be held together with a string. I have an ink bottle set that's like that see how it's got, got that something. check this base out it's broke so i'm just gonna pull it but it's oh no it's, the oh, top. it's, it's, the top, it's yeah. a different jar altogether. yeah it's a oh, different wax let me sealer see, let me see eagle another eagle it says the yeah the, no, the, the, the hero is it the eagle? well I, I think it's the hero or um oh, what's the other one i can't remember the What's that? I don't know, heavy iron. Oh, look at the color on that thing. It's like got gold Venetia to it. Yeah, it's got a weird, yeah, just a really rainbow iridescence to it. Yeah. Another jar. There's another jar. That oh one. God. That one would have been sick. Come on, that's the, the hero. hero. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so the other one I think is the hero as well, just a wax sealer. And this one's not a wax sealer. If we're gluing, yeah, I'm pretty sure that would have been a the hero wax. Sealer. What is that, dude? Is it a clump of coins? <laughs> no, it's metal. <laughs> I wouldn't have handed it over if I thought it was a clump of coins. Did we tell you about that, Kent? No. We I got haven't. a clump of coins in one of the pits we did. In 
We haven't posted the video yet, though. What is, are are they silver? They're or all they Indian. Well, copper. we're not sure. So far, they all they're look like Indian, Indian head pennies, oh, but they're, they're like super fused. Yeah. Yeah, okay. kind of. Oh. But we got about like two hundred of them. There's that olive color. Yeah. Yeah, if we were seed collectors, we'd be in it right now. This would be the holy grail. Yeah, we'd have to go to Lowe's and get buckets. <laughs> Not a bad time to start. I think I'm going to start collecting <laughs> you know, seeds. Dude, these seeds might be the bells of the ball. We could <laughs> sell these for years. There's so many. <laughs> sell little sample packets. Heck yeah. 1830 seeds. Instead of putting marbles on top, we'll just include seeds. <laughs> Put seeds in the bottles. <laughs> That's a cool scene. Yeah, it's got a wicked cool scene on there. The fact that it's so tightly packed is probably why a lot of it got smashed. Weird. Oh, dude, that's an insulator bracket. Is that what that is? I think so. I'm pretty sure that's an insulator bracket. That thing would clean up great with electrolysis. It might be a valve for a gas lighting system. I can't really tell. Another globe over here and more dishes. I don't know, dude. I can't really tell what that was, but... Well, Nothing good. So Put far. it aside. All right, Ryan in the hole. Got a bottle, but it's broken. Really? Already? Yeah. Up in the wall. I kind of see it. I think. Right there. Oh, it's not broken. Oh, nice. Sick, dude. Nice. Unembossed though. Nice ink though. Is it unembossed? Yeah. Man, it's a cool one though. Yeah, it's cool. Ugh. Nice little uh, semi-schoolhouse, almost. Looking ink. Sounds like Kent's buddy just got here, homeowner. Hopefully he's not too, <laughs> too bad. I <laughs> know. I think he was joking, hopefully. Dude, this is awesome, dude. Yeah, it was I cool. should have stayed in the hole. I would have loved that. Aw, oh, man. <laughs> you can have it. You can have it. You Seriously. sure? Yeah. All right. I'll, I'll display that proud, dude. I, I got a... There you he go. gave me a bottle, and Ryan gave me a bottle. We're good. Steve, oh, yeah. Stevie's a little tipsy, I think. Yeah, uh, he seems cool. He's very cool. <laughs> Ryan's got an earlier looking med down in there. Not Pono, but. No? It was like a patent med? Yeah. Or pharmacy. Patent med. You can see that right there. Oh, yeah, you can kind of see it up here. Oh, it's embossed. Is it? What is it? It's got broken. Oh, it's got a hole. And it's a cure. Dr. Graves' heart regulator cures heart disease. That's probably a pretty good one. Yeah, it sounds like it. <laughs> sucks. Says heart twice. Yeah. Yeah. Dr. Graves' yeah. heart regulator cures heart disease. Wow. Damn it. Have you, you never heard of that, have you? No. It has a hole and it's cracked up the the side, but that's still early. Displays. It does still display. I mean, set it aside for sure. What does it look like? A soda or a beer, but it's not old. I don't think it's old. Oh, I see it. That thing looks... It looks like a mason jar. Yeah, it's a mason jar. The midget? The ball. Ball improved. Oh, that's, yeah, that's newer. Is that 1910? Yeah, around that. Full of seeds. Right around that. Uh, kind of. Yeah, that thing has crazy seeds in it. Yeah, that's where you want to. That's where you want to go. Another one of those uh, vegetable compound. Oh, oh no, dude! Uh, what the hell is that? Might be one of her own perfume fucking bottles. It's big. Something. I can't even. Something Mings like Emmings or Ummings. Patine or something? Cummings Patine. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It's. Is it Cummings? Yeah. It looks kind of early. Shit yeah, they're early. There's a bunch of shit over the bank. Ooh, Ooh, right watch out. Oh, Jesus Christ. Anymore, you... No, I didn't yeah. damage it. Yeah. I did damage you get, it. You get close to the fucking line, she fucking starts. Just a, new, it's just a Dr. King's new discovery. <sighs> of course. You'll probably find a bunch of shit from my own Damn, man's drugstore. 
the old medicine We've bottle. been looking to find a panel med that said English on it, but yeah. it just hasn't happened yet. Yeah. They're probably in there, too. There's Somewhere. a bottle near it. <laughs> it might be a pharmacy. Wouldn't it be Whoa. funny if that's an English Dude. Bottle? Is it Windsor? That's what he just mentioned. It. Carbondale. Oh. But it's an impost pharmacy, though. Carbondale. Damn it. Well, it Frank Dennis. Dennis. Frank E. Dennis Carbondale, PA, That's prescription not one druggist. You've never heard of either? No. 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 Good one. If nobody's ever heard of it, it's got to be good. Frank E. Dennis prescription druggist, Carbondale, PA. All right, I'm down in the pit. Seems like the wall actually went a little bit further than we thought. Um, I'm just working on some stuff. I noticed this glass syringe poking out here. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. Looks like it's intact. Feels like it's got the plunger. Yeah. Oh, it's broken, but the plunger's still in there. Nice. That's cool. <laughs> Ryan's down in there scratching away. We're uh, pretty close to finishing up this pit. Nice early ones. Just unfortunate. A lot of the stuff was broken. Here's the pile of heartbreakers here. There's that heart cure. Um, just some beautiful pieces of stuff. A lot of wax sealers. This? That's a whiskey jug. Pick it up. <laughs> I can't right now. I don't have three hands. But, yeah, we did get some stuff intact. Would have liked to have some... Some better stuff. But. Have to come do, uh, yeah, hey guys, we're filling this one in. That's all she wrote. Killer early pit, but unfortunately not a ton of intact stuff. A lot of heartbreakers, but we did get some stuff. We'll show you photos of some of the stuff cleaned up. Some of the cooler pieces or better intact bottles, but. All in all, it was definitely a, a fun pit. Appreciate you guys sticking around and, and watching. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already, and we'll see you on the next one. Here are a good bit of the finds. Most of the ones worth mentioning anyways. Uh, it was a nice early pit, but as you saw in the video, unfortunately a pretty good portion of the stuff was broken, but it's the way it goes. Still had a really fun time and always good to be in this type of age. Uh, at the time that we filmed this, I think it was our oldest pit to date. Um, this was a dig that happened back in December, and we've been digging a lot since then. We've gotten onto some nice early stuff, so there will definitely be some good videos coming up in the near future. Uh, be sure to follow our page if you're not already. You don't want to don't want to miss them. We got some good ones in the works. But as for this pit, not much came out intact. This was that uh, umbrella ink here. Nice open panel. That's my first paneled ink bottle I've ever pulled. So that was cool. Would have been really nice if it was colored, but can't complain too much. Speaking of color, the red on this, as you guys saw in the video, is just nuts. Nice early whiskey. I don't even think it's going to pick up. It's too dark for the the lighting here to, to pick it up, but that would have been a real nice iron panel whiskey bottle there. 
And you got some of the open pottled utilities or medicine bottles. All that good stuff. We dug quite a few of the pieces of this um, transferware set. It's like they threw the whole set away or something. Um, this isn't even all of them here. I, we have even more pieces of other platters and cups and bowls. And It's like they threw that whole entire set away in there. This picture was cool. Um, we actually have... You can see inside here, we have every piece to repair that pitcher. Uh, I think there's like a very small sliver, but pretty much all of that's there. So I'll be gluing that one back together for sure. And man, I wish one of these early fruit jars could have came out whole between the, you know, we got some wax sealers and other early style closures. Would have been real cool to see one of those come out intact. This is actually the top. To the eagle here uh would have been a really large half gallon eagle it might have even been a full gallon i'm not really sure definitely bigger than a quart no doubt uh these were kind of weird too these like early clear sheared top uh petaled jars i don't know if they would have been fruit jars or or what if you guys have ever seen anything like this definitely let us know they're not ground lips. They're like literal, you know, they're like sheared. Very, very jagged and, and rough. Um, so those are kind of weird. They're definitely early, no doubt. A lot of this stuff, most of the stuff in this pit was, you know, 18, I don't know, 1850s for the most part. And so, some of it earlier than that, you know, some of this stuff. But this would have been cool to see more of too. This was a nice early bowl or cup that... Ryan had pulled there. I would have liked to see uh, a couple little small knickknacks here. You guys saw the syringes. Uh, we got a toothbrush. Still don't know what this thing is. It's like a weird like glass. It's like a cut glass prism or something. I don't really know what it is. It has these holes. I don't know if you could see there on the left. There's like these holes that meet up. Um, so I guess you could have, like, strung something through it. I thought maybe, like, for some sort of, like, you know, like, lighting fixture, but I'm not really sure. And a couple other pieces here. This is that nice shaker that came out early on. One of the first things to come out of the, the pit there. It's pretty nice. It has a hole in it, unfortunately. But some cool-looking glass swirls going on there this was that uh dr rv pierce bottle but one of the earliest ones i've ever seen um you know usually you see these from like 1900 1890 this one's definitely like 70s maybe early 80s but i think right around 70s that was an earlier one too that dr d jane's not super early but Earlier than most of the ones you see. And we got some other cool things over here. There's the base to that whiskey. That would have been sweet with that color. And here's the cool patriotic oil lamp that Kent found. Look at the wicked crude rolled glass applied handle on that thing. That was a pretty cool find. Really similar to this. Um, this here, even more so, you know, the crew, look at the crudity on this handle for this thing. This is nuts. That's not wanting to focus, but that would have been pretty cool. I think that's the bottom right next to it, that pondled, pondled bottom there, I believe, is, is the base of that. And this thing that Kent popped out, I was looking at it, and it actually has a similar design to that oil lamp with the shield and the stars. Um, it has a patent date on it of November 16th, 1872, and I looked it up, but I wasn't able to find anything. It's got this weird flat base there, or I guess not base, but side. Um, I think it might be a glass bird, uh, bird food, you know, for the cage, um, the glass feeder. I'm not 
sure, but I've seen some similar ones. Definitely early. But, yeah, all in all, all in all, a fun pit. Just wish we could have got some more stuff intact, but, you know, that's the way it goes, especially on these earlier pits. A lot of you guys that dig the earlier pits like this, you know, you know, a good portion of it is usually broken. But, like I said, we've been digging hard. I know it's been a while since we posted a video, and I do apologize. We've just been really busy. Um, you know, especially me, I edit all the videos, and I've had a lot going on, so... But the good news is we have been out digging a lot, and we've gotten into some really good pits. So, like I said, be sure to stay tuned and follow our page, because we have some some really good videos in the works coming up soon for you guys. So, without further ado, we are going to go ahead and select the winner to the giveaway from the last video. Uh, those of you that watched the last video, we did a 2,000 subscriber uh, appreciation giveaway. And, you know, like I said, we've just been so busy, we haven't had the time to to make a new video to announce the winner. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to go draw that winner and announce it right here on the video live for you guys. Pick a winner. Matt Sergil. Congratulations, Matt. I'll get a hold of you on the comments section and we'll send you your prize. 